Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I'm making some potato croquettes, which in Italian we call crocchette di patate, and they are the perfect appetizer or as a side dish, and I love it because they are crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. And I'll also show you how to make them vegan friendly if you're interested. Let's get started. Let's start by boiling the potato in salted water for about 40 minutes. Mind that the cooking time varies based on the size of the potatoes you use, so I suggest picking potatoes of similar sizes so they cook in the same amount of time. I'm using yellow potatoes, but white or red ones are good too, but I don't recommend new potatoes which are usually smaller and firmer and they are not optimal to mash up. To check when they're ready, poke a fork through the potato and if it easily comes out, you can drain them. Then remove the peel, but don't throw it away. At the end of this video, I'll show you what you can do with it. Mash them up with a potato scraper until you get a nice and smooth, soft puree. I added a pinch of extra salt and give it a taste to see if it's salted enough and then if you like, I suggest throwing in some parsley. Mine looks a little bit dark because it was frozen. I like to freeze it because when I buy the bunch of parsley, I usually throw most of it away because I use only small amounts at a time. I also added some dried rosemary, but just a few pieces of it because it's very strong and it can be overpowering. Lastly, I threw in three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, but if you want, you can totally omit both of these ingredients. Mix everything up and compact it together just like this. Depending on the quality of the potatoes you use, your mixture could be a little bit extra wet. In that case, I suggest adding one or two tablespoons of breadcrumbs in the mixture so that you can easily work with it. Instead of making each croquette singularly, which can take up some time, just cut the dough in half and roll it out like this. So you can easily save up time by chopping the croquette, just like that. You could even stuff them with some mozzarella cheese if you want, just like a little surprise, but don't overfill them with it because they could explode while they cook if it's too full. Awesome, now it's time to bread them. I'll show you two ways. Let's start with the classic way. Get a bowl and beat two eggs. First dip the croquette into some breadcrumbs and then into the eggs and then again into the breadcrumbs, just like this. And voila! The second way is for my vegan fellas. Instead of using eggs, you could totally use unsweetened plant-based milk and just repeat the same steps. So. First it goes in the breadcrumbs, then in the milk, and then again in the breadcrumbs. All right, now it's time to cook them. So the classic croquette are deep fried, and this is definitely my favorite way of making it. I use some flour oil. I let it heat up, and to check if the oil is hot enough, use a toothpick and dip the tip in. If you see a sizzling, it means you can start frying your croquettes. Drop them in super gently, or you risk to burn yourself with splashes of oil, and that is not pleasant at all. <laughs> Give them this nice bath in oil for a minute or just until they're nice and golden, and then place them in a plate with some paper towel to soak in the extra oil. Look how nice. They are their best once you eat them right away when they're still nice and warm. Oh, so good. For a healthier option, you could also bake them. Put them in an oil pan with a drizzle of olive oil on top and bake them at 400 Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. You could also flip them in midway through the cooking time so they are nice and crispy on both sides. Enjoy! Oh, right before I go, let me show you what I did with the peels. For the amount of peels I had, 
I added one tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of flour, spiced them up with paprika, salt of course, and also one tablespoon of breadcrumbs. Adjust the quantity based on how many peels you have, and then bake them for about 10 minutes until they're nice and crispy. Or you can also fry them up. These are so delicious, and it's awesome that you don't throw any parts of the potatoes. Did I convince you with these potato croquettes? Oh, they're just so delicious and so easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new weekly recipes. Bye guys.